is going on YouTube world? Blake Morrison coming at you. I'm so sorry I haven't posted any videos lately. I've been procrastinating just a little bit on getting the video content out. Super sorry about that. But anyway, uh, today's video, we're going to be talking about the current market situation, whether you're a buyer, or whether you're a seller. Um, and then later on, super exciting, I joined a cigar club in Westchester. So I'm super excited about that, ready to network with some people, get some business contacts. You know how it is in real estate. If you guys are in real estate, you guys understand. We're constantly networking with new people. Super excited about it. So as soon as I figure out this mop on my head, get it all situated, finish up my skincare routine, get ready, um, I will get right back to you and we will talk about the market, whether you're a buyer or a seller. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're back. Um, for the past like hour or so, I've actually been looking for a commercial property that's 10 plus units. So if you guys don't know, if you guys are real estate agents, um, a lot of these deals are done off market. So what you have to do is go into public record, search in your client's criteria, see what pops up, and then also network with other real estate agents that you know are in commercial real estate or whatever criteria your client is looking for. No agents that work in that criteria and have clients in that sector. So um, I've been reaching out in Facebook groups, um, MLS public records, reaching out to absentee owners just to see, hey, would you guys be willing to sell? Um, and then, you know, question them a little bit on the property, see what the cash flow is, break down the numbers, see if it'd be a good deal for my client. So yeah, that's what I've been doing uh, for the past like hour or so. Uh, we're going to be heading out around like 2, 2.15 to the Cigar Club. So I'm super excited about that. Going to do some networking. Networking is key. If you're in real estate, always remember that. Network, network, network. Um, so yeah, and then later on, we'll dive into the current market and how things are dealing, whether you're a buyer or whether you're a seller. So stay tuned for that. Super excited. Watch it all the way to the end. And if you guys haven't hit the subscribe button yet or the like button, Hit subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell. That way you guys get notified every single time I post a video. Going to stay a lot more consistent with it because I know I have a lot of valuable knowledge I want to drop for you guys and just educate you in any way I possibly can. And uh, for the cigar thing, we'll be going heavy on YouTube, trying to learn everything we can about cigars because that's what I do with everything in life is I research, research, research. But anyway, I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so we are back. So I'm gonna make this super quick. So those of you that aren't sure what kind of market we're in, whether we're in a buyer's market or a seller's market, I, Blake Morrison, am here to tell you it is through and through a seller's market right now. That light just went on. But anyway, it is a seller's market right now. So those of you that are homeowners or maybe consider considering listing your house, it may be a good time to actually consider that because a lot of people are getting either at asking price really close to or way above asking price. I talk to realtors and talk to people that have been submitting offers $90,000 over the asking price of a property. Absolutely crazy. I cannot believe it. But anyway, for those, of, for those of you that are looking to buy, what we're seeing right now in the market is that there's so many buyers, but not enough inventory. So a lot of the buyers are getting a little frustrated. They keep getting beat out in these offers. So that's why if you're a buyer, it's really important to pick a realtor that will negotiate on your best behalf and put you in that forefront of those other offers to make sure that you guys get to the settlement table because that's exactly what we all want in this kind of market. Um, if you're a buyer, there's three things to keep in mind. You want to, first, you have to be aggressive in this market. Second, have a pre-approval ready and make sure that your money is all right and you're good. Um, if you're a new First time home buyer, there's a lot of great programs right now um, with a 3% down conventional mortgage of a 30 year fixed. Uh, there's a 3.5% FHA mortgage for first time home buyers. Really great program. So if you guys are looking to buy right now, it may be a good time to uh, get that pre approval. And now it may be a little tough to find exactly what you want right away, but give it time. And I promise you, we can find you something that is worth your while and find you the perfect house. As a real estate agent, it is our job to make sure that we can go find you your perfect house. So those of you that are agents on this YouTube, um, keep in mind, you have to be working consistently with your clients, finding out exactly what they want, finding out different areas and opening up their minds to different areas that maybe they haven't thought of where a ideal property might be. So if you're a seller right now, a lot of that feedback I'm getting from a lot of people is if we list right now, Blake, what happens if it sells really quickly? We have nowhere to go, which is a great question. So there's two ways of looking at it. If you're a seller and in this market, you're just looking to get the most amount of money out of your home right now and can make a sacrifice and wait a little bit longer to buy something, then maybe that's a good idea. Maybe you list the house now, 
you either get at asking price or over asking price or really close to what you want. And then you maybe rent for a little bit or stay with a family member until you can find the perfect house. That may be a good idea. Um, or option number two is list the house, wait a little bit longer and put a contingency in your contract saying that this contract is contingent upon us finding another property. So that's another leeway, whether you're sure, whether, whether you're not sure whether you should list your property or hold off a little bit. There's always things in contracts that you can put in to make sure that if you sell the house, you don't get kicked out right away. And it's very important when an offer comes in that you make that clear that, hey, my clients still need time to find a property. Um, but if you're cool with, you know, taking an offer, getting the money for your house and then maybe renting for, you know, a month or a few months, whatever the time frame may be, or staying with some family members until you can find your right house, then maybe that's a good option. Because in this market, a lot of people are getting exactly what they want or over what they want. And if you get over what you want, that's great because that's more play money for you to go buy something else. Now, if you're a buyer, please don't get discouraged. I'm here to help you. I'm here to guide you in the best way. If you guys are interested in buying in this market right now, please contact me. Um, I'll actually leave my phone number and my email down in the description below. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below on what you guys think about this market right now and different uh, situations that you guys have gotten into. I'd love to hear all your guys' feedback. I really appreciate all your guys' support. I, again, I apologize. I haven't posted in a little while. I've been procrastinating on it. But anyway, that's my quick market update. And let's just go get this bread, man.